Welcome to the Brunton Report. Uh, we've got an absolutely dynamic exclusive today. Uh, opening day of Drupa, uh, 28th of May. I'm joined by Evandro Matucci. Evandro, good to see you. Good to see you then. Yeah. yeah. So, so Drupa, let's go back, 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously a pivotal moment for EFI. It was the announcement of the Nozomi. And, you know, it was an interesting one. You know, the machine arrived a few days before, and mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of progress since then. Um, tell us a little bit about the backstory to Nozomi's, because we're now at 65 machines now sold and installed. So yeah. tell us a little bit about what's happened since the launch of that machine at Drupa in 2016. Sure. Well. It's been a fantastic journey, I gotta tell. We learn a lot uh, on this industry. Uh, you know, corrugator is one of the most challenging substrates to uh, actually transport and print, and we made it. So since the launch of the CH-1000, uh, we've been through a journey that we've been learning from the customers, updating our technologies, and we got to a point that we have this installed base that uh, actually are very proud and humble. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 2024, let's fast forward, uh, obviously eight years, we know we missed a drooper because of the pandemic. Um, you guys have been very busy. Um, this event, three exclusives. Right. Um, so obviously, let's talk about some of the allied industries that you're now serving. Um, metal print yep. for the first time. Right. Uh, a new version of the Nozomi 4 sign and display. Mm -hmm. But for our corrugated industry, uh, a really, really important move, aqueous inks. Exactly. Tell us about the 14,000 AQ. Well, actually what we are doing in a brutally simple way, we are giving customers a choice, right? So at the same time, we, have, we took the opportunity to improve the resolution. Mm -hmm. So there is no compromise today with uh, high quality Flexo. And we believe we're gonna bring that amount of uh, offset jobs that could move into digital as well. So for us it's a great opportunity to continue to bring analog uh, jobs into digital mm -hmm. and uh, we are doing that in a way that there is no compromise because when you look at the job basket of our customers, you know, give or take about five, six thousand square meters per job can go into the Nozomi without compromise. And Aqueous is bringing us an additional opportunity to actually, uh, for the brands that would like to use, uh, you know, compliance in, in food and food safety, that is a tremendous opportunity. So, so obviously the development was very much uh, off the back of relationships with the early adopters of the Nozomi. Obviously there, you know, when you launched it was a UV machine and I'm sure the industry was saying, when does water-based come? Yeah. It's now here. Right. Um, so tell us about that, that journey with the partnerships because we're allowed to say now, the first machine is now running with, right. with DS Smith in Spain. Right. Um, tell us about that journey, that, that, you know, how we got here. Right. Well, it's been uh, a huge learning curve for us because the most important thing uh, of the Nozomi is uh, we leverage the subsystems of our platforms. Yeah. It's important to say that the, uh, when we created Nozomi, we took the, the leverage we got in single pass from the ceramics business. Yeah. We brought Fiery, which is the highest speed uh, rip in the market. And we, EFI yeah, always been known by a company that continue to develop and bring innovation to the uh, inkjet inks. When we put that together, that helps us to bring a solution that is scalable. So when you go back into the water development, we took advantage of the subsystems that we have on LED, right? And we just add the water and the dryer. In simple terms, that's what we've done, right? And that, obviously, we took a, a few years to get stability. And we are very, uh, you know, excited actually to announce that we're going to go on beta with the S Smith, which mm -hmm. is a customer that is going for the fourth Nozomi mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. and, and obviously, uh, one of the really important things with water-based inks, there are some manufacturers that offer a holistic system that can run any inks. Mm -hmm. Very important to say that you feel that for the ultimate performance, you only offer EFI produced water-based inks. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about the, the how and the why. Yeah, that's uh, very important, starting with the why, right? 
Why we do that is because everything is symbiotic. When you develop those subsystems, namely the print ads, the electronics, the transport, yeah. right, of big presses, and you need to provide that accuracy of placing the dots where you want consistently, the only way to do that is by controlling the whole ecosystem. From software to finishing, going through the Inks technology, it's extremely important that we do that. I believe that is the only way that you can help customers to drive the TCO down, right? And really win with the new value proposition of digital without any compromise on efficiency. So, listen, let's move on to possibly the more exciting news. Uh, right behind us here, uh, a brand new development uh, from our previous conversation, I understand the first couple are now running in the States. Unveil it. Yes. Tell us, okay. what are we seeing? So we're extremely, extremely proud to announce the uh, X5 Nozomi. X5 Nozomi is a system designed for the uh, e-commerce application, which is booming. We all know e-commerce is booming. And what is the product? Is essentially a system that is fed by Fanfold. If you go in the US, they call Z-Fold. Z -fold. And uh, that cuts, decorate the box, and deliver the erected box with the right size packaging. Every box in six seconds only. So this is a product that we believe is gonna be a great opportunity for on-box advertising. And it's going to bring, again, which is the commitment of EFI to bring uh, new business models for the industry. And, and let's look at what would the typical customer be? Right. So possibly not a traditional corrugated converter. But tell us about the, the sort of the profile of right. typical customer. Yeah, predominantly, uh, we believe the, uh, this system is going to be placed on 3PLs. So companies that fulfill orders from consumers, right? And uh, today, they, these boxes, the e-commerce boxes, are being shipped in brown boxes, predominantly. Some of them in their uh, own product container. However, there is a huge opportunity, it's a blue ocean, to decorate those boxes and help those 3PLs or the brands to monetize, you know, through decoration of those boxes and uh, allowing consumers to receive those highly decorated boxes in their doorstep. That's our the value proposition. So we believe 3PLs is the, uh, the, the natural and the first possible adopters. And we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn a Drupal with all the industry and see what else can we take this product to. And it's fair to say that you haven't reinvented a wheel here. So you've taken an existing process and actually added the digital print in, correct? That's correct, exactly right. So again, back to the subsystems uh, value proposition. We took what we have and we make it more compact. So through our R&G and engineering teams, they design a system that is the most compact system for the corrugated industry ever seen. Because you know, the, the TPLs they need, they, they have issues with room, with space, right? So from the design stage, we make it very compact. And also what we've done is allowing those customers to produce in a very fast way and you gotta shorten the line as well. So we took advantage of what we learned, what is industrially proven, and we took to the X5 Nozomi because you know they need to run at more than 20 hours a day. Absolutely. So industrial uh, stability is extremely important for the system. The system. Well, Evandro, um, Drupa perfect opportunity for people to come and see this particular machine in action. Uh, so if you're in Düsseldorf, come and see them. Evandro, thanks ever so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you, Dan.